We are not just inhabitants of this planet, we're actually changing this planet. For national security, it'd be nice to have a source of energy where we didn't have to rely on nations outside of our own. Oil dependency makes us vulnerable to the control of oil producing countries. It severely impacts our wallets and threatens the future health of our planet. Natural materials that we've had since the beginning of time have always been available to generate energy and we're starting to run out of those. So we need to come up with alternative methods uh, to produce clean energy. From nanotechnology to solar power, researchers at Penn State make discovering new, abundant, and renewable sources of clean energy a priority. Surprisingly, one immediate solution could be coal. Pennsylvania is coal country, so we've been working with that material for literally over 100 years. Here at Penn State, we've also been working for over a decade on converting that coal, which is a solid, into liquid fuels. Penn State has a partnership with Chevron. The basic idea of this partnership is to help Chevron find new approaches to clean energy generation using coal. Companies out there know that an investment in Penn State will pay off for them because we're able to solve some of the most complex problems that are out there. Most of our coal-fired power plants were built decades ago. Old technology, not the cleanest technology, and we know how to improve that technology quite dramatically. Another abundant power source is the sun. Penn State's Materials Research Institute studies microscopic ways of harnessing this resource using semiconducting single crystal microwires. One of the challenges in solar energy are to find lower cost materials that can be used to convert energy from the sun into either electricity or another fuel source. Instead of using single crystal silicon that's very expensive to make, we're looking at developing low cost methods to fabricate wires of silicon on low cost substrates such as glass that would have the same type of, of properties in terms of the solar cell performance as a crystalline silicon solar cell, but much cheaper. So if we can efficiently harness solar energy, that provides us with an, you know, virtually an unlimited supply of energy. And then there's space, a whole new frontier for capturing untapped energy and beaming it back to Earth. The whole idea behind space-based solar power is to put uh, energy collectors in outer space. If you pick the right orbit, the sun shines 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We can beam that energy back to Earth where it's needed, so we don't have to worry about storing solar energy. From the point of view of national security and national defense, uh, it gives us some advantages if we need to, to get power to places where we don't have access to the local land. Whether the answers will come from outer space or here on Earth, Penn State is tackling the hard science of unleashing abundant, efficient, and clean new energy sources to free the world of its reliance on oil. The work that we're doing here at Penn State really has impact on people's lives. The time is right. There are young people who are highly motivated to work on this problem. And I think with the right amount of investment, um, we, we can make some rapid advances. Institutions like Penn State play a major role in discoveries in areas such as energy that are critical to our nation's future.